Hello YouTube peoples. We are on a new series of Ducky Girl Adventures sort of thing. Yes, but we're not on an adventure. We're on a talk show. Yes. We're on Ducky Panel and with my co-host Baxi. Hey. <laughs> and <laughs> today, well, basically in this new series, we're going to be discussing the bits and pieces inside Minecraft, the entertainment bits, the, the gossip, the drama, because there's always lots of drama, and yeah. <laughs> always. <laughs> always. But, um, we're going to discuss basically what happens, all the hidden bits and pieces that people like to keep secret, and they're not going to be secret anymore, are they? Nope, not at all. No. Exposing everyone. Yes. And then there. So, today on our first episode, we're going to be talking to DJ Charlie. And DJ Charlie is an owner of Ducky Girl World. Yes, with me. Yes. <laughs> and there's been a lot of drama surrounding DJ Charlie and a few other people and another server called the Inked Eye Server. And the owner of the Inked Eye Server is a Mr. Ipados. And mm. we're going to be discussing with Charlie, he's going to get his point across on the whole thing in his own words, get some facts through. Um, going to be discussing the drama surrounding that, what it's all about, um, where maybe it might have come from. The ins and outs on all of that stuff. Yes. So we're going to be doing that today and hopefully getting rid of some rumours and some accusations. There's been some horrible accusations made about like DDoSing and and just, uh, just hacking and other horrible, horrible things. And no one likes to have that sort of thing against them. So we're giving Charlie a chance to talk about that and and yes. But first off, we're going to have a quick word from our sponsors. Minecraft bread. Okay, so now we're back and we have DJ Charlie here with us. Hey, hey, you going? Hi. Hi. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Hi. <How's it> going? <laughs> So, um, we're going to talk to you about the drama surrounding yourself, Ducky Girl World, and Ink Dice Service. Okay, yeah. Yes, there's been quite a lot of drama circulating around yourself and the two Ducky Girl World servers that you and me own. <laughs> mm, yep. Um, would you say this is correct? Yeah, yeah, no, there is, yep. <laughs> Right. Well, today we wanted to sort of clear the air somewhat and sort of help get the true facts across and get your side of the story um, yeah. in your, out sort of, you know, in your own words. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to ask you like a few questions. Okay. Yes. How were you uh, introduced to iPados and the Ink Dye server? I did a... Um intro for a YouTuber, a small YouTuber, called um, Sad Clown, um, trying to help him out, he was a small channel, and yeah, I did him a couple of uh, intros for his videos, and he introduced Pixelmon to me, and kind of said, yeah, okay, and he took me over there, and introduced me to iPados, so uh, iPados got excited because a YouTuber was coming over to the server and instantly gave me uh, a YouTuber tag and all that other fancy crap. Um, <laughs> right. And then we just basically got on from there, started talking, and that was it. Right. So that's how I got introduced to the server anyway. Did you feel welcomed when you went to the Inkdai server? Yeah, I mean, there were people, you know, Sorry for my language, but there were people jumping up my ass and <laughs> yeah, all, all really Happens. friendly. 
<laughs> does happen. It's all very friendly, you know, because of the things I did on YouTube. And I don't do a great deal, but I help out maybe small YouTubers with, with intros, professional intros and, and graphics for their channels. Yeah, at this point I will yeah. say that Charlie makes some fantastic intros. Um, as a, well, totally unbiased opinion, he makes all of mine. <laughs> so Yeah, but they're all right. Yes, they're good. <laughs> and they're, a, they're good, they are good. <laughs> he's a graphic designer by trade and he has many years in in that in that field. Yes. Yeah, well, I've been a graphic designer for over twelve years. Yes. So, yes, you felt welcomed going into the Ink Dice server. Um, now, not long after that, you were uh, you were co-owner of the server. Yes, I was. I was actually made owner. Um, just to, from a conversation I had with iPados, because um, he mentioned that he couldn't afford to, to run the server with uh, another owner. Um, there was actually three of them. In total, there was iPad, myself, and someone else. Okay. And he couldn't afford it and said that I can pay my way. Um, like my, my, my third, if you like. My quarter, whatever it was. Um, can we ask how much the server cost? In total or just the share that I was paying? Uh, well, first off, in, in total. In total, the server came to about 20, 24 bucks. Between twenty and twenty-four bucks. And what share were you paying? I was paying about twelve bucks. Okay. So it doesn't really add up. No. So you were paying half. I was paying, paying half. half. Yeah, I was paying half of the server. Um, but I still had to ask for permission to to do stuff on the server, even though I owned half of it. Other server oh. owners would know that um, I would assume you're talking about like the back end things like dashboard sort of commands and and things like that. Well, he gave me right to the panel and the back end stuff because he knows that you know I was coding and because you, you, know, you are a you are a coder. Yes. Yeah, I can code and I can develop. Yes. Okay. So okay. in saying that, you 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 say you're a coder. So. There's been like many accusations of, um, or really harsh ac accusations really made at you um, about DDoSing um, the Ink Dice server and doing sort of nasty things to to them. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I keep getting told about my name being brought up saying that I, I've been DDoSing the server, crashing the server and hacking the server. What would stop you from, from doing that if if you can in fact do those things? Well, first of all, I don't have time for it. You know, he's not a threat. I've never seen him as a threat to me. Um, you know, those things can be done. Those things are easy to be done. Um, they are done quite often. He though, actually... Isn't they? Going back a bit, he actually cut me off from the back end panel before actually taking me off as an owner. So it was, you know, suspicious from there. I did mention to him that I was going to leave, and I think he thought that I was capable of doing those things, so he cut me off. So even if I wanted to do those things, I couldn't. You know, at the time I'm setting up, I'm developing, doing another server which is a Ducky Girl Pixelmon server and I'm coding that at the same time that his place is crashing um, so you know how can I have time to do that when I'm too busy coding the other one also you know I have the real life graphic business going and I've got the YouTube graphic stuff going so you know that's a lot of work right there I don't have time yeah. to play with little kids you know the guy's already lied his age for a start to me right you know he told me that he was 17 and then we then i found out that he was 15. well um so i didn't actually want a part of that no that's you know, understandable. For, for, for being 32 myself hmm. you know, i don't want a part of that that situation no because that's when you know i'm going to start getting labeled yes so yeah I had to cut that off straight away and said to him, look, no, I don't want nothing else to do with you, the server, nothing. 
you know, I don't have time, you're not a threat, you know, he's not. His service started going down as soon as I left. You know, his staff came to us. Yes. You know, his staff came to us. We didn't ask them to come. His players started coming to us because we cared about the players, we cared about what they wanted. But the accusations kept going around, and I just think that's just pure jealousy now. No. Yeah, it sounds, it sounds a lot like he's done it out of spite uh, because you left in the first place. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. I would agree. Now, I have actually spoken to him on several occasions since all this shit started, and he would talk to me like I was his brother. But then still turn around and say that I've hacked and DDoS the server. You know, I'm, but I'm not going to get into that childish bullshit with him. You know, like I said, he's 15, I'm 32. I'm twice his age. I don't want nothing to do. And the times that I've contacted him was just to ask him, you know, is everything okay on the server? Is anyone bothering you? How's it going? You know, just being polite. But, you know, he, he doesn't want nothing to do with it. He'd rather just sit there and accuse me and have his staff accuse me of it. Right. So he's a teenager that hasn't got his way and it's become a tantrum, basically. But they were relying on me to run it because he was too busy <laughs> at the time at work, but we all know okay. he was at school and he was actually yeah. relying on me to run the server. Because as soon as I left, there was no servers. He didn't actually come on the server until two weeks later. So people were just leaving because he, they knew that, that he didn't care about it. Um, I was also given a YouTuber tag on the on the server instantly, and um, iPad was he was never there. He was he was there roughly for maybe a week for the time that I was there, and then he um, disappeared and. And Charlie was left with all of the work, which personally didn't make me all that happy. I, I had less time with Charlie and less time with him helping me with the Ducky Girl World server that we already had. Yeah, I, d I just need the bullshit to stop. It's not a bother to me. He can keep calling t or telling people that I'm hacking his server and, and shutting it down now. Like, it's been offline now for two days. That's got nothing to do with me. I've been for the last 48 hours updating the Ducky Girl Pixel Run server to 3.0 and which gained just over 50 new players within five hours. That's fantastic. Um, and today I've been doing bug fixes all day, you know. So I just need the rumors to stop because at the end of the day I'm not doing nothing. I haven't got time for it. He's not a threat. And he's just a jealous little kid. And yeah. That's it. That's all, I need, that's all I've got to say, you know, because you know, I don't care. But at the same time, I do because I'm not that sort of person. Is there anything you would like to say to iPad personally or any of the members of the Ink Dice staff or maybe the players that have accused you of these things and been well, running your I, name through the month? All I can all I can say to them is, you know, good luck with the server. You know, I haven't got a bad thing to say. You know, good luck with the server. I hope he he carries on with it. Um, I have offered to, if he needs help to contact me. Um, and yeah, good luck. Good luck. That's all I can say. Is if they want to carry on accusing me, then they can just carry on accusing me. You know, I'm not. <laughs> I've got no part of it whatsoever. It's just a waste of your time. So it's a waste of my time hearing about it. Yeah. It really is. Mm. You know, I've had enough. Yes. I'm glad that you've had that moment of of being able to express yourself and, and get that point across. Yeah. Hopefully what we've been able to say today will will do some good and and maybe put a stop to all these horrible things that are being said. Yes. Hope it doesn't make it worse. Yeah. <laughs> if it does, it doesn't. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You know, it's it's Minecraft. It's a game. At the end of the day. Yep. Exactly. We actually care about our players. 
Yeah. We actually care for what they want. You know, there's these kids that are so excited about having the new Pixel mod, mod. and you know, we we stayed up. We stayed up because it was 12 hours ahead of our time, uh, behind our time, but we waited to install that mod so the kids had something to wake up to because they were excited about it. We did, yes. Not just the kids, of course. <laughs> Not just the kids, but you know, the, the, All the of adults us. as well. Everybody, all yeah. ages. Yeah. But, you know, I'm, I'm saying the kids because they're young and Pokemon is their thing. Yes. Young, impressionable. Yeah. Well, thank you, Charlie, for, for coming today and, and getting your point across that way. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yep. No worries. And we'll be right back after this brief little thingy. Yes. <laughs> and so we're back again after those brief little bits and pieces and I'm going to hand over to my co-host Boxy with a few words about our sponsor Minecraft Bread. Hey everyone, Minecraft Bread is a server hosting website. They have years of experience in the Minecraft server business. You can choose from many packages uh, starting at Little Loaf, which is $2.50 and it goes all the way up to 32 gigabytes or something. Um, you can check the website. Wow. Uh, they've got servers all over uh, the US and the EU, uh, so there's pretty much no lag because of how widespread the servers are. Uh, you can run mods, no problem, with their servers, uh, and every package you buy has an unlimited space uh, for storage. Uh, they're cheap, they've got top quality service, and they're really for the people. They're brilliant. Yes, they really are. The customer service is like just brilliant. It's fantastic. Yeah, well, you would know it's you use them. So. <laughs> yes, they're my sponsors. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had any problems with them at all. Um, I've always been speedy, fast, reliable service. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, what you want? Yes, and their customer service is like, like I said, it's just fantastic. The the people who run Minecraft Bread are just the, they're, they're really nice. They're lovely, polite people who just really want to make you happy at the, at the end of the day and they won't stop until you are. Yeah, so you should really go check them out if you really want a server. Yes. Definitely check them out. And if you do happen to want a server, don't forget to mention our promo code of Ducky Girl to get 10% off your own server. Yay. That's good. Pretty yeah. good. So with that, we will <laughs> end it here. And yes, sir. that will be our Ducky Panel first episode. That's the pilot. We've done it. <laughs> yes. Yay. Yay. Well. So oh. yes. Thank you, my co host Buxy. Thank you, Ducky. No worries. <laughs> and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Bye.